Hey my Sagittarius and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe, the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. So really quick, <laughs> we got the, um, the spiritual union card here and we have the destiny card. Okay, showing up um, when I split the deck, I'll let you guys know how that's significant in a second. But this is your mid-October through the end of October reading for uh, Sagittarius placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or wherever you have it in your chart. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. This is a very general message, you guys. So please keep in mind that it may not resonate with you entirely. Just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Um, triumphant success in the waiting game showing up. So Sagittarius, the song I got for you guys for mid-October through the end is Diamonds by Rihanna. Um, so something about, for well, first off, I feel like you guys are glowing. Something about you just has you glowing. Um, also the energy of like your life um, elevating, okay? Or expanding something, shifting in your life. Um, and it's becoming more valuable here. We got rejoice and celebration showing up here. So some sort of celebration could be taking place, um, or some sort of reconciliation or just, yeah, you're celebrating something. Then we have the universe here. So there's some sort of, um, some sort of cycle that's either completing or some sort of cycle that's beginning here. But this is karma. I feel like karma is for sure on your side. We also have three showing up here, three here, and then card number 21 breaking down to a three. So something about the number three or 33 is significant. We also have this love begins card peeping out behind this universe card. Okay, so this is also justice. All right, Libra energy. Um, we are in Libra season, but something about um, you receiving what you deserve or some sort of justice coming through for you. And it can be tied to love, especially with the spiritual union card that was peeking through. We got love begins and we have the heart chakra. The color green could be significant too. There's a lot of green here showing up. Um, choose wisely and throat chakra. You could be trying to figure out the right things to say, or maybe you're speechless. You don't know what to say, or this is y'all. If this is somebody in regards to you, you got partnerships and romance showing up all over this reading. And we are only two minutes and 40 seconds in. This is also card number three. So 333 could be um, a lucky number for you. If you guys are into playing the lottery, I would say try 333 or something like that. Okay, if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not resonating, then it's not um but yeah diamond so it's like you are elevating or something about your life is going to the next level the next two weeks um also you know if you know the song then you know or if you don't go listen to it but it's about you know a partnership her and someone else or maybe you and someone else you're masculine or feminine um just feeling like it's a perfect match i'm getting the energy of like ecstasy it feels like you're in your own little world you and a partner okay if you are partner or if you're not partner you could be meeting someone or something is just all of a sudden taking place over the next two weeks that just has you feeling on cloud cloud nine it has you feeling like you know, like you're in another mental state, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, like you're just away from the world. It's just either you and someone you love or you and something you love. It's just like you're in this bubble um, and it feels really good. So let's see what comes out in the actual spread for you guys. Please like the video, um, comment, I comment back, share and subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I put your energy into these messages. And I can better pick up on what's going on with you, Sagittarius, okay? Like the video so you can get out to other Sagittarius that needs to hear this message. Spirit, what do we have for my Sagittarius mid-October through the end, okay? So we have <laughs> the universe came right back out, okay? So this is some sort of justice. It's like the universe is on your side. Karma is on your side here. Um, everything's falling into alignment or there are just outside forces that are really trying to make something happen for you. Okay. What else spirit? You could also be dealing with a Libra or have Libra somewhere else, um, you know, heavily aspected in your chart, or this is just something about Libra season is very, um, important to you or for you. We got the rejoice and celebration card right back out. This is three again. What else spirit? 
we got temptation, okay? Breaking down to a six. Three, three does equal six here. Um, I'm kind of getting desire with this temptation card, but let's see how the reading flows. And we got movement choices and decisions showing up. So um, choices are to be made here. There's, I just, I'm getting changed. There's a lot of change that's taking place in your life. Um, yeah, regarding your finances and your health and your romantic relationships here. Because we got money showing up. We have rings showing up. And we have growth or some sort of stability. Something is growing here. It feels like it could be your love life, your money, or a little bit of both, okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, we have intuition showing up, card number two. So you got two twos out here, three, okay, and six with this temptation card. Hmm. Okay, something about a key, too. I don't think I've ever noticed this, but I believe this is a key here. There's some, I feel like this is desire because I've never noticed this. It looks like a key. And then this is a heart here as well. Um, so I feel like this is passion and desire. Okay. Something that's making you happy with this rejoicing celebration, something that's owed to you or something is just like, it's kind of like the universe or karma is on your side. It's gifting you with something here, but let's clarify a little bit for my Sagittarius spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we already have the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. So whatever you're celebrating, whatever's making you happy, you have Nine Cups here, okay, showing up. We also have the Knight of Wands behind that and the King of Wands here, okay? So someone, um, you are a fire sign, but this is the energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius twice here. Um, somebody wants to make you happy or someone is doing something to make you happy. Somebody has a lot of passion for you. Maybe this is this person showing up as temptation. Okay. Or it could be you Sagittarius. All right. Then we got the Ace of Cups too. And we got the Chariot card. So you're, somebody is, um, kind of gearing up to give you this offer here, whatever this is for you. Let's see what this universe card is for my Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, wherever you have it in your chart, Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, okay. So the universe is, is something that's coming. It's happening very fast. Like speaking quickly or manifesting very quickly. It's happening very fast. The way the cards just fell out. We have the six of pentacles with the ace of pentacles here. Okay. So this is an equal give and take, an equal exchange between you and someone else. This is a, a grand offer opportunity with the ace of pentacles. Like someone is giving you something here. This could be your finances doing doing very well but whatever's going on definitely the universe karma god is on your side here with this universe card let's see what this other card is that flipped over the star card this is a dream come true or a wish come true that's happening you're being given something here sagittarius it feels like you're being given maybe multiple things or multiple things are just really um feeling good feeling blissful working out for you for the next two weeks last two weeks of october we got the three of swords at the bottom this is another three it's almost like you're being rewarded or your your cup is being poured back into or you're being replenished for all of the heartache that you've experienced, all of the disappointment here, because all of these cards are positive, okay? So there's something... Um, that's exchanging out maybe you've been you've had a hard time in love or luck or finances or just something in your life here and now it's like you're getting your just do you're getting your your karmic justice and that's just the the theme for everyone for the collective in libra season that's what's taking place those who are on the good side of karma are experiencing it and those who are not are experiencing that side also so hmm, something you've been hoping for wishing for Okay. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's and we got the three of cups here. What is up with the number three for y'all? Like, look at this. What is this ace of pentacles spirit? I'm just a little curious. What's this ace of P pentacles for my Sagittarius? Ooh, a new beginning. Okay. Aries showing up here, but the full card is just a new start. A breath of fresh air, a new beginning here. Nine of Wands. Okay, after being through being put through so much or just kind of carrying so much here what else is this ace of pentacles you know what let's move on it's a new beginning right what's this rejoice and celebration what's with joy rejoice and celebration for my sagittarius four of pentacles here what else too many cards you guys and they didn't flip over what's this rejoice okay 
Ooh, two of wands. Y'all saw how the two of wands flipped out with the four of wands. So four of pentacles is giving me stability or something that you, something that's yours. Okay. Something that you're holding on to, or you're trying to hold on to here. Um, or something you've just, it's like maybe a dream or I, something you've been wanting for a while. Something you keep very close to you. Something that's near and dear to your heart. Okay. Two of wands and four of wands gives me the six of wands energy, which is a victory. This is success here. This is also so um, it's like opening up to something new. So maybe I'm kind of getting like a single energy for some reason from this four of pentacles, um, like more, more so of an independent. Maybe you're used to doing a lot of things on your own or living life on your own. And then two of wands, it's kind of, it's like you're leaving some sort of old part of you or, or your old life behind and you're joining forces with this four of wands. Now this is a card of a relationship, a serious relationship or a marriage or a home, a commitment, a contract here. So you're completely, it's something about your independence that's um no longer going to be there. Okay, but it just, it feels like you're aligning. That's what I'm getting from this universe card too. Like you're aligning with someone or something that's very good for you or that makes you feel very good, that's meant for you. Some sort of contract here. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, again, even with this energy, Sagittarius, I feel like you guys have been through a lot. First, you had the Three of Swords, the heartache, the disappointment. Now you have the Five of Pentacles, the kind of like being alone, um, I feel like you're very independent or you do a lot of things on your own or you just choose to be solo or alone because you've kind of been conditioned that way because a lot of people have let you down in your life, Sagittarius. Um, but something's turn around, turning around for you. Some sort of home situation could be, could be turning around for you as well. This is the energy of feeling, um, like abandoned or just not having support. And then all of these other cards are the total opposite. Okay. Okay. We got the page of pentacles that's behind that so this is giving the six of pentacles this is actually that equal give and take here ace of wands this some there's a new start happening for you guys what is this temptation card temptation card for my sagittarius spirit for the month for the end of october mid through the end of october so we have the seven of wands and we have the knight of pentacles. What are you leaving behind? I just keep getting like very independent solo energy, like a, a person that just um, likes to control everything. They like to have everything in order. They don't really depend on others here, but it's kind of like something, whatever is happening, whatever uh, you are aligning with this next two weeks, it's like it's forcing you to move out of that energy okay and in a good way because these are a lot of positive cards here it's like you're leaving some sort of defenses you might have had up behind some sort of way of thinking or being or living behind here your guards um aren't aren't as high as they used to be in regards to someone or something also we got the justice card here showing up okay so this is karma we also have the hermit card virgo energy libra energy the tower queen of wands here look at this y'all whatever's going on sagittarius here's the queen of wands showing up again well the king of wands again showing up with the queen of wands here so there's some sort of union that's taking place okay some sort of magic that's happening actually what i'm getting with this tower card um and it's like kind of finally making a move or finally making something official the hermit is hermit mode sitting back reflecting thinking on it it's kind of like the plan before the action okay and the justice is the action here that's coming through what else is this temptation card we got this page of cups i didn't even realize these popped over here four of swords queen of pentacles three of wands page of cups okay but let's see what is this temptation card what else is temptation for my Sagittarius? What else is temptation spirit for my Sagittarius? Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups, and it flipped over in the reverse here. It really feels like um, something here. I don't know. I feel like you guys were just very defensive in regards to whatever this is that's coming in for you like you really had your guards up here you weren't willing to surrender because the queen of cups upright for me is you surrendering and allowing something in but in the reverse you could be experiencing maybe um the temptation could be 
something about your thoughts. You could be experiencing maybe like second guesses, second thoughts here, especially with this movement choices and decisions coming up after this. Um, let's see. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got five of wands here. You know what? I feel like whatever this happiness that's going on for you, there could be someone in your life. Maybe it's more than one person in th that might not want you to have this happiness here. Um, but I don't see you giving into it or if things aren't necessary, quote unquote, going as planned or people are just kind of trying to like kill your vibe in regards to what you should be happy for, whatever's showing up. I don't feel like that's getting in the way, but there could be some sort of um, outside conflicting chaotic energy showing up. Five of Wands, Hierophant, Queen of Swords and the Devil card. Okay, Six of Wands. Something with the commitment, Queen of Swords, Devil Card. Yeah, I can I kind of see like whatever this is you are aligning with, coming into union with, whoever. It's like there could be an energy here um that doesn't want to see this happen for you. What's this movement, choices, and decisions? Okay. Um, and then it could be it could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I just saw Pisces, okay, with this High Priestess card. It could be a Pisces here that's not like on board with whatever this is for you, which is just some hater energy, to be honest. We got a card that flipped out on the floor, y'all. Let's see. Knight of Swords energy, okay? So, yeah, somebody might have a lot to say about this, possibly. It could be this Pisces. Um, What is this movement, choices, and decision? Movement, choices, and decision. I also get like this could be someone who acts as if they're very supportive towards you or whatever you're doing. But re in reality, they're not with this Queen of Cups in reverse. And we got this Three of Swords here. Three of Wands. Like somebody doesn't want you to be happy. All right. Movement, choices, and decisions for my Sagittarius spirit. What else? I can't even get it out. Eight of Wands. Okay. Some sort of communication. Two of Cups. Communicating with a lover or some sort of love here. Again, with that Two of Cups, um, it's a joining together of you and someone else or you and something else. Knight of Wands, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. And all of this wanted to come in the reverse, okay? They all flipped out together in the reverse. Um... Something that was on hold or postponed or something that was being heavily thought about, strategized here. Again, I'm getting like there, something about your independence that's no more, but it doesn't feel like a bad thing. There's also no more contemplating about something. Something is like for sure taking action here. Okay, that's what I'm getting, especially if I choose to take those um, in the reverse the way they fell out. And then the Ten of Swords here. So this is a new day. It's a brand new start. Again, the Ten of Swords is like the ultimate defeat or betrayal but this ten of swords is coming out of that is seeing the sunshine after the storm type of energy Sagittarius okay um page of cups it could be new love we have the emperor you could be dealing with the Aries or a Taurus or this is just a father figure okay showing up five of wands king of pentacles ace of cups here okay either you you or someone else is just very determined to make this happen or to be happy or to just yeah to kind of like not let anyone or anything get in the way of whatever this goodness that's happening for you guys these next two weeks of october all right so let's see sage i want to pull another spread for you guys really quickly we got the magician card showing up at the bottom of the deck and we got the justice card here so you're getting you could be doing something that's happening with like legalities as well or something yeah three it's a celebration here okay this could be a marriage for some of you guys with the justice card to the three of cups we got the four of swords here okay um Something's not being talked about. We got the lover's card. Okay. This is a union, Gemini energy, making a choice or some sort of choice. Maybe you're not telling people or you didn't tell people. And we got the sun card, but you're happy. This is Leo energy, Virgo, also for me as a reader. So I don't know what the backlash, black, ugh, backlash is in regards to whatever you're doing or what's making you happy, but it's making you happy, Sagittarius. So that's all I really got to say about that. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for my Sag for mid-October through the end of October? Anything else that we need to know?
what else do we have for my Sagittarius? If you've made it this far, you guys, and you have not, please like the video, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. We got the Knight of Cups. This is that love offer, okay? Um, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio for some of you guys. It does not have to be, but this is just a love offer or something that's emotionally fulfilling coming in. Ooh, we got the King of Pentacles, a very solid and stable person, okay? Making this offer. The damn justice, like karma, justice is on your side here. The balancing out of the scales, okay? Something's really coming into alignment for you. We got the strength card showing up here. Ooh, I feel like this person, um, I feel like whoever the masculine energy is here is very masculine, likes to take care of the home, likes to be able to provide and, you know, have the money, things of that nature. But I also feel like you balance this person out, okay? You could be dealing with the Leo with this strength card. There's something about them being very strong and masculine and wanting to take care of you, but there's something about you that's needed here for sure, like your femininity. Um, something about you tames this person, however that's resonating for you, Sag. We got this Queen of Cups here. Yeah. Uh, very loving nature right in the middle and we got the empress card okay empress with the justice what else we got the eight of pentacles somebody's something's coming in offering you stability financial stability love okay someone like that allows you to kind of take the lead to or something about playing your role this if this is a relationship is very much so like the masculine wants to be masculine and provide very traditional and wants you to be feminine and not really have to lift the finger or just um very strict on like uh gender roles and very traditional we got the moon card here okay so there's a lot of uh, emotion okay You're upgrading because I feel like this Queen of Cups is you. I feel like this Empress is you too. It's kind of like you're up, you're upgrading. What did I say? Like your life is um expanding or something like that at the beginning of the reading here. You're going, you're like you're graduating to Empress or you're graduating to Emperor, however that resonates for you. And you end in a damn spread with the Ten of Cups. This is a family. This is a union. This is the promise. You know how we see, like we keep seeing this justice card for you, like karmically balancing out the scales, getting your just due, good karma, like something that was promised to you is actually happening the next two weeks it's actually coming in into fulfillment it could deal with a family um or a blending of families here with this empress card and this ten of cups and it's justice i don't even know what else to say and at the bottom of the deck we got the six of cups okay so this is someone um that you have a history with or this is someone that you like um i'm kind of getting like daydreaming or like fairy tales or like that happy ending is the energy that i'm getting with this card uh you could have children with this person you don't have to but look we got the nine of cups with the six of cups and the three of cups the celebration four of cups here okay we got the three of pentacles the ace of swords working together collaborating joining for forces some sort of truth coming in two of pentacles ace of pentacles i don't even need to keep going like i'm gonna just pull some cards from the divine doors deck so i can wrap this up because it's getting a little longer than what i wanted it to be i just saw a cure for longing something you've been longing for right palm tree something dealing with the with the hands okay or, or um the lines of your hands or just hands in general okay what else trust the universe is the next one that i see sag what final messages do we have for my sagittarius spirit mid through the end of october final messages a moment's joy oh it says sand through the hourglass yet time could stand still a moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will it's a very special moment that's happening for you guys okay what else let's get two more for my set damn okay let's get two more spirit for my sagittarius we got intuition didn't that pop out in the uh, oracle cards it says simple complex words of pain or words that heal you come to know truth by the way that it feels something is very emotional we got the moon card down here the queen of cups i'm feeling or like the energy of like tears of joy overflowing um like your cup is overflowing here sagittarius i like it 
Um, we have a, a stranger's grace. It says ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger here. So not being afraid of something that's new, possibly someone that's new or something that's new that's taking place in your life is telling you not to fear. We also have Anthony's call at the bottom of the deck. It says, and thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost so can be found. Something is coming back around for you. Okay, so however that resonates for whoever this is resonating for, it's like a second chance or a renewal. Some things, it's happiness. Some sort of happiness is coming back around for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.